Hello everyone and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. This is Wydra91 and today I'm going to try something a little different. Um, I normally don't do Let's Plays, but I figured it might be kind of fun to go ahead and start giving it a try, so we're going to see how it goes. Uh, I've been playing Kerbal Space Program for quite a while. I think I've been part of the game since, I think, 0.16, if I remember correctly. Bought it back when it was only $20. Um, I took a bit of a break from it. I mean, it just got kind of old. There wasn't a whole lot to do aside from just build spaceships and launch them, which is fun, but after a while, it gets kind of old. So, with the release of uh, 1.0.4, I believe, was when I picked the game back up, I wanted to start exploring it again, and I discovered things like career mode, um, science mode, and then good old sandbox, and all of the new parts, and just new ways that they play this game. So, I have started my career mode already. Um, unfortunately, you guys aren't going to be watching it from the beginning, but um, I have still got plenty to do. So, as you can see, here's my tech tree. I'll just go ahead and show you that real quick. Um, haven't emphasized too much on the science, but definitely on, um, flight control and all that kind of stuff. Um, I do need to start working on wherever fairings are. I know fairings exist in the game. Ah, there we are. That's a protective shell. Uh, yep, there's another one. Yeah, I don't know if that's an actual fairing, though. Custom built fairing, max radius, yeah. Yep, that is a fairing. So, I have to start working on that. Um, but I've got, as you can see, I've gotten a decent amount of science. I have been to, uh, let's see, I have been to various parts of Kerbin. I've been to the moon, and I've been to Minimus. So, I've got a couple uh, more missions I could probably run to Minimus. Uh, definitely have another mission to run to the moon. Um, and then I think Duna is going to be my next target because I've got two missions over in the Duna system, uh, Ike and uh, in Duna itself. So, got a couple of those. Looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, that being said, if this uh, series initially comes off a little bit clunky, please forgive me. This is my first time talking directly to my audience, so it's going to take me a little bit of time, but I'm pretty confident that I'm going to have some fun doing this. So, and uh, for any of you wondering, I do plan on doing the whole webcam or video camera capturing um, at some point or another, uh, but it's going to be a second before I'm able to really get started on that. So, let's see, let's start off here and see what we need in geosynchronous orbit. What is ge Geosynchronous, kerbosyn- Okay, I would've called it kerbosynchronous, but whatever. Whatever! It's ge I need to put in geosynchronous orbit. And geosynchronous, if I'm not mistaken, means that it's going to... pass over the same point on the ground at the same time every day. Whereas... Geo geostationary would be even further out, where it's literally above that point all day. Um... Very interesting. Uh, gives you a decent amount of money. I mean, I might as well accept it. I've got unlimited active contracts. I'm not a fan of these temperature scans, though. Equatorial orbit. That's easy. Okay. So I planted a flag on Minimus. Oh, wait. You know what? I don't think I actually did. So let's do that real quick. That's easy. Um, Because I've already got someone on Minimus. <laughs> You're like, why is it easy? i got to fly there. Okay, uh, let's go to the Minimus Trinity ship, which I need to rename it. It's the beginning of Minimus Base 1. Um, yeah, so I landed this uh, out here, what was going to be last episode, but it really wound up not happening. So, um, I need to plant a flag. Who's going to get the honor to do that? Uh, let's put our first female scientist. We're going to put her on the surface. And of course, they always come out upside down. Those goobers. Alright. You gotta love that minimus gravity where it's so light that it's not a problem. So, we're gonna plant a flag. Shkibuch. And as you can see, I just unlocked it. Huzzah. And site name is going to be... Minimus... Trinity 
Highlands. Because we are currently on the Highlands, and it's the, Min the Minimus Trinity ship. All right, we'll take an EVA report for whopping 150 signs. Keep the data. And we're going to run an EVA report. Ah, uh, yeah, I probably should. Cool. Okay, easy peasy. I'm aboard, and we're going to transmit review data. That one we want to transmit because that's 100% for sure. So transmit the data. Cool. And do, 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 do. we don't have room for that, so there's no point in processing in the lab module. Um, for now, we're going to keep the data. And we will come back to that later. And let's observe this materials bay. Mm. Cool. And we're going to keep the data. Uh, let's open that. Observe the mystery goo. For 50 science. Uh, yeah, that was a mistake. Um, do do do, two hot thermometer. We're gonna log a temperature. Oh, there's an existing temperature scan in there. Skidooch. 20 science. We'll go ahead and transmit that. So I got my antenna right here. Sending beaming information back to Kerbal, which isn't over there. Kill, two hot thermometer. Check. Log pressure data. Very good. Transmit. Do, 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 do. It's thinking. Bam. All right. Oh, very good. Cool. Okay, so that's good. Um, let's go ahead and close that. Uh, yeah, we'll leave that as is for now. Um, and we might collect more later. Give us 187, so we'll be able to unlock another thing. Woohoo! I think I've got something else there. Keel. Um, so we're right there right now. Let's go ahead and just use the map view since we can see. We're right there. We've been over here. We've been over there. Um, okay, I'm pretty sure I've been over here. But according to this, I haven't. So, yeah. So I could go that direction. That might be fun. Um, yeah, we'll worry about that later. So let's go back to the Space Center. So that should have given us a little bit more money. Yep, we're up to 1.3 million whatever they are. Uh, yep, and you'll see that the plant to flag on Minimus is uh, gone. Have to plant a flag on the moon. So I think I'm going to begin building a uh, lander for that. Ah, research, right. I was like, what was I going to do next? Um, I would say... Advanced landing would be really nice to have. Even though I was just talking about getting advanced aerodynamics. Uh, Duna is very similar in my knowledge and gravity and all that to Kerbin. So, it will need to be robust, to say the least. And then advanced control, which gives us an advanced reaction wheel. And yada yada. Ba ba ba. Mm, decisions. Decisions, decisions. What decisions shall I make? Oh, drug shoots might be nice where we're going. Just flips us around the right direction. Alright, I'm going with this. <laughs> it has been decided. Yeah, I think I made a good choice. We'll see if I'm right or not. I hope I'm right. I don't know. Um, okay. And she did, and in this... Oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to see how much it cost to upgrade it. Eh, eh, eh. Uh... Okay, I thought, I thought right-clicking. There it goes. Okay, I was right. It was freaking out on me. Um, so yeah, right now my research science limit is 500, which means I, I can't get the full, like, 
Yeah, out of my, <laughs> out of my, uh, missions. <clears throat> but we're gonna go to the moon first, which means we've already collected a little bit of data from there, so it's no big deal. Um, what are we gonna do for this? Uh, for a Mooner Lander, I think we're gonna go ahead and use a Probotobodyne Octo to control it. Well, the specific reason that I will be able to take people down without needing to deal with a bunch of crud. So, that's good. Now, the next thing I want to do. I want to build... Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. How do I want to do this? The problem with these science labs is they're so daggum tall that you really have to be careful. Like it could really cause some problems. I'm gonna make it nice and wide. How am I gonna make it wide? With one of these things. I could not. I could just not. Uh, and take a scientist. I'm a smart man. <laughs> I'd like to think. Uh, let's take a two down, just in case. Take a Mark II lander can. Um, okay. I'm flying by the seat of my pants here, guys. Uh -huh. Let's do this. Ooh, boy. We need more Fosters. Okay, so let's just take a quick look and see what... Okay, we've got positive thrust weight. That's good. Which means that is actually viable. Surprise, surprise. How big are these? Whoa. <laughs> Holy moly, those things are huge. Uh, let's go with these. These are kind of intermediate. I think these will be a good. Nice and symmetrical. Uh, okay, and let's take a look at... It's wide-ish, but not really wide. I could reduce how high it sits off the ground. Or, or, seeing as that this is a scientific flight, um, do, 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 do. I could, yep, there we go. I think I see my answer, maybe? I need my, where is it? Oh, I know it's here. Uh, service bay, there it is. And I want the 2.5 meter service bay. Plunk. We'll plunk that on right there. The NAS. Wunderbar. DWR is still good. Man, those are powerful little things. Jeez. Okay. Um, with a decent Delta V, I believe. I'll do more research on how much I need later. Mm. Hmm. Cool. And we're gonna open this. Okay, and we're gonna stick science stuff inside of it. For science. Mmm, okay. Put one of these. I like to say, okay, be aware of it. It's gonna happen. Like it, love it, learn it. Um, hmm. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Some mystery goos. Uh, this is pretty much my standard Oh, and I knew I copied it. This is pretty much my standard way of putting things sciency onto my ship. And yes, I just said sciency. Deal with it. Um, too hot thermometer. Kiboom. I like symmetry, even though these things are massless. It's just fun. Looks so nice. Wow, that is gonna make my LCD go nuts. Look at that. Huge difference, huge variance right there. Ah. And yes, I see that that one's a hair higher. I don't care at this point. Okay, and then we're gonna stick that puppy right there. Yeah, that's legit. Actually, let's do this. This looks cooler. Nope, not what I wanted. Nope, still. What the heck? Whatever. 
yeah, that's a, that is a totally viable way to attach things. Um, I'm gonna see if this does, wow, look at the size of that thing. Holy moly. Jesus. Doesn't even fit sideways in there. Uh, that actually kind of fits. <laughs> it kind of fits just about as well as anything else you'd expect, wouldn't it? Okay. Slop that guy right on there. Excuse me for the burpage. Um, 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 um. I always get lost in these menus. That's because there's more stuff on that menu now. Than there used to be. Man, I am having digestive problems. Guys. Ah. Boo. Man, this is gonna be so cool. Uh, the only thing that's missing is RCS at this point. How shall I attach mine RCS? I'm thinking in a circular fashion directly above the engines. How much RCS does that give me? It gives me a whopping 280 monopropellant, which should be enough to navigate the surface of Le Moon. So that should be cool. Uh, let's go to utility and the landing struts. And we're gonna extend them. I believe that'll be sufficient, but I'm gonna go ahead and lower them just a smidge, just in case. And I don't feel that that is too crazy as long as we pick a nice flat spot to land it on the only other thing at this point is I would like to put some solar panels on it hmm where are they I know they are now they're in utility right yeah and I'm just gonna get put the good old octostat right is it octostat yes ox stat never mind put the ox stat on now like mm, so okay so that'll be for in flight recharging and then i'm gonna put four on the top for not in flight charging while we're sitting on the surface of the moon we want to get some uh stiff so we'll use that to our advantage okay we'll close that up make sure everything fits inside nice and purdy and there's my lander uh, i hope it works Okay, <laughs> that thing is too big. Um, I'm trying to think of a good way. That's unique. It's an interesting way to do that. Funk. Oh, and I got it on there too. Ta da! There we go. Why did I do this, you ask? So I can couple it to a command pod. Why do I need to couple it to a command pod? Am I planning on bringing it back? If only you guys could see my face right now. I'm thinking so hard. Um, I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin. So I'm thinking of putting command command pod underneath it so that I can push it out and push it back and bring everyone home safely and re-enter the atmosphere because this will not survive re-entry um but I'm trying to build a base so part of me is going why do this does it matter really does it really matter I'm going I don't know I'm gonna use Kerbal attachment and Kerbal inventory system to essentially remove this and put one of these on the side when I start to decide to build a base out there. Which is gonna be fun, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, dang. Okay, so I'm at a point where I really need to kinda take a look. I think I've done approximately-ish 15 minutes and I'm trying to keep these fairly reasonably length so that you guys don't have to endure too much fast forwarding. Um, for lengthy builds, yeah, I'm sure once I get done with this mind block that I've got going, I might be okay. But, um, yeah, so, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up here. Uh, if you guys liked it, please, by all means, like and or subscribe if you haven't already. Um, there's more of this to come. I've got a couple of other games up my sleeve that I think that I'm gonna be doing. Um, definitely expect Fallout 4 Let's Play when it comes. I'm so excited. Um, and yeah, so... 
Anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you all in the next video. Oh, I am defensive. There I go. I'm coming at this hard right <laughs> you now. You fucking yourself on that power line. Oh. And you failed.